Hi there, welcome to What Is It Wednesday. This week's question is, this term is defined as a response that stops an ongoing stimulus. And the answer is escape. Escape falls under the negative reinforcement umbrella along with avoidance. So what's the difference? Well, escape means that the aversive event is already happening to you and the behavior that you emit results in escape from that situation. So for example, you're outside and it starts to rain and you weren't ready for that. You're getting drenched. So you run inside or you run under an awning. And so what you've done is you've escaped the rain. Escape can be both automatic or socially mediated. So you running yourself under that awning, that's going to be automatic. But if someone rescues you with an umbrella over your head, that would be socially mediated. The other type of negative reinforcement that we have is avoidance. That's when a response prevents or postpones the presentation of the stimulus. So not going outside because it's raining, you avoid getting wet or you carry an umbrella with you in anticipation of the rain. You avoid getting wet. There are two types of avoidance. We have discriminated avoidance and we have free operant. Discriminated means there's a signal that lets you know that avoidant behavior can result in negative reinforcement, meaning avoiding some aversive stimulus. And there is the free operant avoidance in which there is no signal. So you're technically free to engage in avoidant behavior without that thing telling you that avoidance um, will result in avoiding that aversive stimulus. Anyway, I hope that helps guys and I'll see you all next time.